Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Enjoy. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in London, currently standing in front of the Aqua Shard in London, and we're about to go up and dine at one of their restaurants for an afternoon tea, which is a Peter Pan themed afternoon tea. I've heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to take you along. Come along. Yeah, good, thank you very much. So here's your upside down map. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I love that it's a map, that's so cool. So, yeah, have this you is been amazing. to the afternoon tea before? No, it's our first May time. I explain to you Absolutely. Yeah. It's a set menu. So, as you can see on the map from the left hand side, we're gonna start with some savory sandwiches mm -hmm. selection and some sweets. Wow, okay. We do have two house teas. The first one is like a floral one, the mm -hmm. second one is more fruity. Mm -hmm. For special occasions, we do have two offers on the bottom okay. with a glass of champagne. Mm -hmm. All the teas and sandwiches, coffees, they are unlimited. So okay. if you can hold, handle 30 of them, I will bring them okay. to you. <laughs> and are there any? <laughs> My mom's loving this. <laughs> All right. Any allergies that should be aware of? Uh, no allergies. No allergies. No, no allergies. Right. Thank Should you so I start much. Should with some steel sparkling water? Um, can we have some steel water, please, yes. for the table? Thank you so much. So as you saw, the lovely, lovely waiter server okay. explained the map to us and it is a map I love how it's presented rather than just a standard menu um, as with most afternoon teas you get some savory um, options some sweet options some freshly baked scones or scones you know however you want to say them and um, some teas as well as well as if you want to you can add a champagne which I don't I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that but there you go this is this is the map we're gonna have a look at it now the space is lovely as well. I've never been to this area of the Shard. This is actually my third time inside the Shard, but my first time dining in this particular area, in this particular restaurant. So yeah, I'm loving it. The space is lovely, tables are nice, quite spacious. You don't feel like you're next to you know, other people. And the view that we have, we're very lucky. We're like right by the window, so we've got a fantastic view over London. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Give me your bird. Who's going to be the captain today? <laughs> so I'll explain to you exactly what you have on your plates. Mm -hmm. So starting with the classic one for you, Miss. Okay. Uh, the red one is the captain's hook coats croquettes. Mm -hmm. The two sandwiches that you see there, the one on the left is the chicken and bacon, and okay. the next to it is cucumber and mm -hmm. eggs. That weird looking bread is a <laughs> mushroom and truffle chimney. Sounds and good. we have the sausage roll. Mm -hmm. And for the pescatarian option, we do have as well the captain's hook coat croquettes and the chimney. And the three sandwiches that you have there, from the far left, you do have the hummus and peppers in the middle, cucumbers and egg. And on the right, the raspberry jam. And this one here is the pescatarian option with the jelly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the uh, pork gelatin. Okay. It's fish gelatin. Thank you. Uh, the other two desserts here is Victorian sponge cake with uh, vanilla. Nice. And chocolate mousse that looks good. with some raspberry <laughs> notes and some gold on top. <laughs> We do have a beautiful treasure for oh, you to open. No, 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 no. Let's see what it is. Oh, the scones! Oh, they cute. are warm and nice. Lovely. I always recommend to start with those start with, with some scones. raspberry okay. and apricot jam mm -hmm. and the cream. <laughs> are you ready? Three, two, one. Wow! <laughs> That's cool. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. So as our lovely waiter explained, we've got our savory dishes here. Um, he explained everything, so hopefully you would have heard it. But there's a variety of options. There's some vegetarian ones. There's you know egg. There's this one. I think is the sausage one. Um, yeah, there's a lot, and I think it's really nicely presented as well. It's a very colourful plate, which I approve of. So we're going to try them. This is the sausage pastry thing. Oh yeah, well the sausage one, lovely, just like a sausage wall. 
just presented in a different way. I enjoyed it. Now I'm about to have the egg, egg and mayo one. I think there's some cucumbers in there as well. Okay, so the egg sandwich so far is my favorite. There's quite a lot of mayo in there. The cucumbers add a layer as well. I like it when sandwiches aren't too dry and obviously with the mayo, the actual egg and the cucumber. I know some people are not fans of cucumber, but I love cucumber. So yeah, the egg sandwich, highly approved. Now I'm gonna try this one. My mom's already had this one and she said it's lovely. So this one is, it looks like a mushroom and it's funny because the waiter like uh, described it as the weird shaped thing. My mom said it's amazing and it's a mushroom thing shaped in a mushroom way so I'm gonna try a little bit of that one now that is really good this is what the inside looks like by the way of the mushroom shaped pastry big fan so far everything I've tried has been lovely really really good it does taste a little bit truffly actually which again I love it's not gonna be everyone's taste but if you love mushrooms then you're gonna enjoy that one for sure the last sandwich on our plate is this one which I believe is a chicken sandwich so yeah gonna try that one now there you go Mom, the chicken sandwich is lovely. Honestly, I am completely impressed. So far, all the savory options I've been a big fan of. Everything's been not just good, but actually quite special as well. You know, unique taste, something that is a little bit elevated than what you would expect in a normal sandwich. So yeah, big fan. Now, the only thing we've got left, I'm just going to quickly show it to you, is this red thing. I can't remember what this is, but I like that they've got little sores in them. Mine is a, an orange one, my mom's was blue. So yeah, we're going to try that one now. I just got into it. My mom is also having, obviously, the same food as me, except hers is the pescatarian one. Was it nice, mom? Yeah? Wow. Okay, so this is my plate. I, as I mentioned, big fan of literally every single thing that was on my plate. So far, this afternoon, he has been fantastic so i've got high hopes for the sweet options that we're going to get to later on as well so i've just finished all my savory sandwiches on the plate everything was lovely as i mentioned and i just noticed this look it says lost boys rules this is this was wrapped around one of the sandwiches i think it was the chicken one it says no no talking to pirates believe in fairies think happy thoughts and never grow up i love it everything is just so well themed like i said even just the ship itself which is the main icon of this whole um afternoon tea like you see captain hook there you've got tinkerbell I'm sure Peter Pan will be somewhere as well. But yeah, we've got, uh, I think, maybe three um, sweet options each. So we're going to now dig into the sweet options. And these are the jams, etc. for the scones that were in the, in the treasure. Exciting. And all of this is happening, by the way, again, with the view of London on our right. This has been a fantastic experience so far. Truly amazing. Before we start on our sweet dishes, though, which are all on this lovely ship here, um, the lovely waiter again, which I'm going to get his name later and uh, mention him because he's been phenomenal. He did come and ask us if we wanted any more sandwiches. So that's definitely worth mentioning as well. So if you would like some more sandwiches, you can definitely ask for some more if you have a favorite. I enjoyed all of them, but I think both my mom and I, our favorites were definitely the eggs. The eggs were fantastic. So we both asked for one more egg sandwich each before we then start on the sweet options. I just tried a little bit of this green cake um, it's got some layers of coconut on it but the actual cake is very moist and I think it's like some kind of vanilla sweet vanilla cake it was delicious this is gonna be my second bite really good we've got our scones now or scones whichever you prefer and as, as you saw earlier they gave us I think two two jams one of the jams is on my mom's plate um, and then also of course the cream I'm not the biggest jam person so I normally only just use cream to be fair but yeah, it's really interesting as well because the scones are still nice and warm. The scones that were in the treasure, even though obviously we took our time to eat everything else first. But yeah, still nice and warm, so looking forward to trying these. Well, the scones were fantastic, really delicious. Even my mum enjoyed them and she's not normally the biggest fan of scones. I also wanted to comment really quickly on my latte. Of course, it's just a latte, you wouldn't think it's anything special, but it was lovely. Really enjoyed it, I've still got some of it to go. And now the last thing I want to try is actually this uh, chocolate roll type thing my mom's already had hers and she said it was delicious again quite surprising considering my mom isn't the biggest fan of chocolatey things generally but look at that it's got a little piece of gold on there i love chocolate desserts personally some of my favorite desserts are chocolate so yeah i am excited to give this last one a go now well i have to say i just tried some of this chocolate roulette as well 
beautiful, beautiful. You have to be a fan of dark chocolate because it's definitely very bitter, more bitter than on the sweet side. I think that's why my mom enjoyed it because she's not the biggest fan of regular chocolate, but dark chocolate she enjoys and I do too. Yeah, delicious. And with that being said, our bill has now arrived. You can see the Aquashard logo here. So let's have a look at the total price here. There you go, £147.77 altogether for two afternoon teas, which were at £61 each. Of course, we, were, um, we also got a still water in the beginning we were offered, either still water or sparkling women for still, that's six fifty, and that's with the service charge included as well. Service charge was about £20, so not bad at all, altogether £150. I feel like, personally, uh, considering what we got, it was definitely worth it, and I would recommend it. It's a nice little treat. And just like that, we're about to leave the Shard here, Aqua Shard we had this lovely afternoon tea honestly everything was perfect from the service which i'm going to mention a little bit later on to the food quality to the theming everything was just excellent so so good so yes that's more or less it we're about to leave this restaurant now go back to the ground floor you can see the aqua shard logo there behind me i wanted to give a huge huge shout out to our lovely waiter agron his name was he was fantastic like he added so much to the experience he was so lovely so smiley excellent service and honestly like i said the food itself was great the theming was amazing but agron elevated the whole thing and made it even more special and memorable for me and my mom so big shout out to him really enjoyed this experience um, i actually did a beauty and the beast afternoon tea not so long ago about a month ago i have a link to that as well in, on my channel you can check it out a lot of you were shocked by that afternoon tea obviously i mentioned some of the things that went wrong in it but some of you were like oh my god sam if, if that had happened to me you would have like complained you know majorly and i i'm not one to normally complain i just wanted to mention it to you guys and having done this one now the peter pan afternoon tea here at the shard i can totally see why some of you were so outraged by the beauty and the beast afternoon tea that one i wouldn't recommend it wasn't worth it too many things went wrong the food wasn't memorable the theming was cute but it wasn't amazing but this one at the aqua shard i can't think of anything that i was complaining about of course it comes at a price but you are dining at an amazing restaurant with an overview of London, um, good quality food. So of course it's going to be quite expensive compared to some of other afternoon teas. But it's something that I would suggest as a, as a treat. If you want to treat yourself, if you want to treat your mom, a family member, a partner, absolutely a good place to come for an afternoon tea. So with that, I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Big shout out to Agron again. And from this lovely restaurant, the Aquashard, and me here at London. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.